Sometimes sitting through an entire feature length film can be a chore, especially if that movie feels like it's padding out its runtime. Because quantity doesn't always mean quality. Thankfully, there's a subsection of filmmaking that steps in to pick up the slack, and that's horror shorts. Whether they are festival circuit darlings or just creations uploaded straight to YouTube, they have proven that you don't need a Hollywood budget to give people nightmares. And so with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with the 10 best short horror movies of the last decade. Number 10, Peephole. Checking a peephole seems like a perfect storm for a scary as hell experience, as looking out at the wrong time can lead to unsightly things. But no one could ever expect to spy something as creepy as this. Peephole shows a man answering a knock at his door late in the night. After looking out of his peephole, he spots an incredibly curious sight. A doppelganger copying his actions. What's fascinating about this short is how the title makes you instantly think you know what you're getting into. It seems obvious that the unfortunate protagonist is going to check the titular peephole and be met with some spooky monstrosity, most likely a scary face or monster. Still, it chucks something way more terrifying at you. The villain in this short is what sells it so well, as the double takes control away from the protagonist's own body giving you this pessimistic feeling of helplessness. There's no need for makeup or any visual effects to make this monster feel terrifying. Just a solid build-up, creative editing, and strong acting. Number 9. Guest Guest is a very clever short film that is way more than what it seems on the surface. Now, if you're unlucky enough to spot the unsettling creepy thumbnail, you'll likely imagine a straight-up scary flick with some evil monster. But this short has a hidden depth that makes it way more interesting. Guest is written and directed by Finn Callan, and shows as a woman breaks into a house to escape a creature that's stalking her. But the terrifying figure doesn't attack her or hurt her, it just stares with bulging eyes, which are terrifying. The short plays with imagery so well, as there are plenty of lingering shots of the protagonist as she stares right back at this unholy abomination. These shots are painful as you spend the whole time waiting to cut back to the monster, leaving you in fits of tension. Adding to this tension is the use of sound. Since the protagonist is hearing impaired, the short puts you into her shoes by plunging you into monotonous tones and lingering silences. And this emptiness makes the imagery on display even punchier. Number 8. Man on a Train Seeing as a short horror movie only has a limited amount of time to get you spooked, it's common to rely on ubiquitous scenarios in which everyone can sense peril. Thus, stranger danger is something that comes up a lot. This short makes genius use of that, as it takes the concept of a creepy encounter and pushes it to the max. Man on a Train comes from writer-director Jack Shanks. It shows as an unlucky woman steps onto a train and begins to eavesdrop on her fellow passengers. However, after some friendly people watching, they suddenly disappear, and she's left with a strange man who seems to be coming for her. This is a short that tackles its horror in a less overt, far more subtle way. There are no bombastic jump scares or big shocking moments. In fact, the visuals are altogether natural and authentic. That's where the movie thrives, as it focuses on mundanity spliced with something ever so slightly supernatural. It's simple, effective, and sure to give you the creeps, especially if you often ride the train at night. Number 7. Sucker Blood Typically, when watching a short horror film, you'll get something set in the everyday world, with the spooky shenanigans coming from some twisted beast or clever visual trick. However, if you want an all-out gothic fairy tale-like horror, then this short has you covered. Sucker Blood was created by the pairing of Jack Hendricks and Ben Tillett. It's set in a gothic mansion and tells the story of a young girl with a bad habit of sucking her thumbs. Her mother places down a curse upon her, which will summon the deadly sucker blood to kill her if she sucks her thumbs again. Whoa, there's some great parenting. 
This movie is deliciously atmospheric, with a large focus on classic horror visuals. Thanks to this, it almost feels like a kid's version of an Edgar Allan Poe tale. You've got all the tricks like a large mansion, heavy shadows, prosthetics and a deep voice narrator guiding you through the story. Plus, there's two monsters to keep you spooked, the titular beastie and the creepy mother. Overall, the short is self-aware, overly gothic, effortlessly charming and tons of fun. Number 6. One Last Dive Anyone with thalassophobia, which is the fear of large bodies of water, better start running for the hills for this one. This film is a short by every definition of the word, as it comes in at about one minute long. Yet, despite having less screen time than your average plank exercise, it packs a huge punch thanks to the horrifying setting, murky visuals and spine-tingling sound design. One Last Dive is about well, one last dive as a diver ventures down into the depths after being given only 20 minutes to investigate a strange underwater crime scene. But what he finds down there is something terrifying and tragic. There's so much to love about this short, as it perfectly encapsulates how to use the format. The setup is clear and concise, and the supernatural threat is left to the imagination in a satisfying yet mysterious way. Plus, the use of lighting is genius, as you can barely see anything, completely putting you into the diver's shoes, or perhaps flippers. Thus, when things go wrong, you feel all the more invested. Number 5. 2AM The Smiling Man Many people's idea of a scary horror villain is a giant monster with huge teeth and a gross body. For others, it's a creepy looking little girl with demonic powers. Really anything can be a terrifying baddie. Even a man smiling as he dances in the street. Really? The Smiling Man follows a man roaming the streets at night. I mean, why do the people in these shorts keep going out at night? as he encounters a strange sight, a creepy, smiling man dancing with himself. What starts as a seemingly innocent encounter soon turns very sinister. It's safe to say that a smiling, dancing man shouldn't be nightmare-inducing, but it totally is. The performance from Paul Foltz as the titular villain is unnerving as hell, and the build-up of tension as the villain continually stalks the protagonist makes it clear that he's a dangerous threat. While viewers are used to things like vampires and werewolves, there's just something so uncomfortable and uncanny about a person behaving unpredictably. That's what makes this such a great short. Number 4. Other Side of the Box Receiving a gift from a friend is usually a joyous occasion. Still, if that present contains some terrifying, unexplained phenomenon that drives you to the brink of death, then you might wish you had a receipt to exchange it with. Other Side of the Box comes from the mind of Caleb J. Phillips. It tells the tale of a couple who get an unexpected visit from an old friend. He leaves one of them a gift before departing in a hurry. It's then revealed that this box contains a strange creature that gets closer every time you look away from it. Weeping Angels, anyone? Sorry, wrong channel. Anyway. <laughs> The setup of a villain that moves closer once you break eye contact has been used enough to feel like a full on trope. Yet, while it's often overused, this short does a great job of playing with the concept, using some terrifying yet simple creature design. Seeing a creepy, seemingly human face poke out of a box has never been so scary. Also, despite being less than 20 minutes long, it packs in a whole heap of character building. There's a clear established history between the cast, even if it's mostly unspoken, leading to way more mystery and tension. Number 3. My House Walkthrough Now, this is a horror short that has arguably not received the attention it deserves. However, the fact that it stands so tall against the backdrop of terrifying creations you've seen so far should come as a sign of how truly haunting it is. It's not conventional horror by any means, but it'll have you scared beyond your wildest dreams. My House Walkthrough is a YouTube video uploaded by Nana825763 and is an absolute descent into hell. It's presented in a found footage format as an unnamed protagonist gives you a guided tour of their house. But this dilapidated building is full of terrifying imagery, dark secrets and a seemingly infinite loop. It's almost impossible to put into words what kind of experience this is, as the horror is so unique. It has plenty of clever ways to scare you, mostly thanks to the sickening visuals and mind-blowingly good set decoration. 
There's also an eerie chanting in the background, giving the whole thing an overwhelmingly spiritual vibe. Overall, this is a horror experience unlike any you've had before, and one that could only work as a short film. Number 2. Lights Out Sales for Nightlights must have gone through the roof when this iconic short film hit the scene. Although against this monster, they won't have done much good. Lights Out is an excellent example of how simplicity can be very effective when making something scary. This short is less than three minutes long, has no dialogue, and takes place in one small location. Yet, despite all that, it took the horror world by storm and has become one of the scariest pieces of media ever created. Written and directed by David F. Sandberg, Lights Out follows a woman on her way to bed who notices a strange figure in the shadows of her flat. This figure disappears once she turns the light on, and thus she uses this to try and stay safe. Sadly, in the end, the flick of a switch is all it takes to end her life and make a collective audience poop their pants. This short is a masterclass in building tension and paying it off with a shocking climax. The atmosphere is pungent, and the creature's reveal is painfully freaky. This is likely why it got expanded into a feature film in 2016, and while that flick has some merit to it, it's this short that deserves your attention. Number 1. The Back Rooms If you've been on the internet in the past few years, which you presumably have, I mean you're on YouTube right now, then you likely already know about The Back Rooms. Either you've seen it and delved into the lore, heard of it and maybe checked it out, or spotted the infamous ugly wallpaper cropping up in memes with no idea what it was. It really has caused quite the stir. The Backrooms is a found footage horror short that you can find on YouTube. It was uploaded by the channel Kane Pixels and is a pure example of how the found footage genre still has life in it. It shows as a kid carrying a camera falls through the world into an unexplained place. There, he explores his peculiar surroundings and discovers that he's not alone. This short is widely respected for its use of liminal space. This refers to a location that's wide and open but eerily devoid of life, like an empty car park or a school at night. The creepiness of such a setting goes twofold if it's full of sickly yellow colouring, tasteless wallpaper and blaring fluorescent lights, the combination of which makes you oddly queasy. It's a genius short film that thrives on how creepy the setting is and how hopeless survival seems. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.